David Wildin. I'm the site manager at Otmore Nature Reserve, which is situated in the centre of Oxfordshire. Wetlands are so exciting because a change can happen so quickly. I can dig a hole in the ground, it will fill up with water. Then the insects move in and the plants start to emerge. If I was to create a woodland, it would take decades for the trees to mature. This is why I love wetlands so much, because it's so dynamic and the change happens so fast. Otmore is mainly made up of wet grassland. In the winter it floods and in the spring and summer it gradually dries out. The pools start to get a nice muddy edge where birds such as the lapwing and red shank love to feed around. In the winter time we can have over 16,000 wintering wildfowl and waders using the site. We also have over nine miles of hedgerows. These hedgerows are packed full of black fawn which are really important to the threatened black and brown hair streak butterflies. One of my favourite birds on Otmore is the snipe. They make this incredible sound in the spring. It's called drumming and they use their tail feathers to make this sound. They're extremely sight faithful bird and actually Otmore is one of the last remaining places where they breed in central England. And it's so important that we can create the habitat for them for their population to continue to grow and spread out. Another bird we're trying to save on Otmore is the curlew. It's the UK's largest breeding wader. The population has plummeted in the last 30 years. It's gone down by 50%. Curlews love species rich hay meadows, hay meadows with lots of flowers. Those type of hay meadows have lots of insects like grasshoppers and crickets. And this is what the young curlew chicks love to feed on. And it's really important that we can create this habitat or not more. It's incredible news that the cranes have bred on Otmore. However, the year before, we actually had two pairs that attempted to, to nest here, but they were unsuccessful. I think we really feel that in order for the cranes to be successful in the future and to get a growing population in the local area, we need more habitat for them. And that's why it's really important that we can extend the size of Otmore so that we can create more areas for them to breed and more areas for them to feed on as well. So this is the land that we're looking to buy at the moment. It's just plain grass. It's lush, it's green, but it's actually really poor for wildlife. There's no wildflowers, there's no insects out there, but we know we can improve it. We want to see the populations increase of the curlew and the snipe. We want more space for cranes so that we can have more than just one pair nesting here. That's what we want to see happen on Otmore. We want to see this change happen and we want you to come on a journey with us and experience it too. Land like this doesn't become available very often. We need to grab the opportunity now or we may never get it again.